Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking Planty Wednesday. So today we are just gonna be taking a look at some of the new plants I've added into my collection. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to stay until the end, and maybe you wanna leave a like or dislike, whatever you wanna leave. And I mainly upload plant content here on this channel, so if you be looking for that, I got you and maybe you want to check out my other videos and if you already have maybe you want to subscribe but anyways we're just gonna hop right into this so the first part of this video is actually going to be an unboxing of some new plants that I got um, so this next clip you're gonna see is pre filmed so I'm gonna have my long hair again <laughs> but yeah anyways we got some plant mail Basically, um, I just ordered a couple plants off the of Etsy. We're just gonna freaking go ahead and open this. Oh my God, this is packaged so well. Y'all, look at this. All right, so I guess we should just open the first one. Um, so technically I got two different plants uh, but there is a third one, as you saw, and I will explain that when we get to it. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. <sighs> Can y'all guess what it is? Just by this floof. <laughs> so the first plant I unboxed was this Alocasia Black Velvet, and y'all, she is so cute and literally she looks perfect. Like there's like no damage on this. They really package these plants really well. Um, I'm impressed. If I'm being honest, I only got this plant um, <laughs> so that I could, you know, use Klarna to um, pay for the plant I really wanted to get. So this was just like a little add-on plant. I think it was like $10 or something. But y'all, I'm happy I have her. It's not that I didn't want her, but you know, I don't know. Anyways, this is my second alocasia ever in my collection. Um, the only other one I have is an alocasia poly. I'm super excited to be growing this one in my collection. Um, she even has a new leaf. I'm pretty sure when I bought her, um, she only had three, or at least in the image that I saw. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the rest of the plants. Round two. It is a Philodendron Ernestii, and this is actually a plant that I never even heard of until I found it on Etsy. <laughs> Basically, this is the plant in its juvenile form. The leaves do get really big, and then it also gets, um, I don't know what to call it, but it gets like little folds on its petioles um, that are really pretty or whatever. So y'all are probably wondering what that third plant was. Basically, this plant that I bought um, the seller ended up reaching out to me and I guess it did end up losing a leaf after I bought it. So they were kind enough to send me an extra cutting for the leaf that I lost, which is so nice. Like they didn't have to do that. Let's go ahead and unbox the other little cutting that I have. So here is the small little cutting that the seller sent me. Um, she cute, she cute, and she already has an active growth point, it looks like. But these are all the plants that I got, um, and I'm super excited to be adding them to my collection. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my new plants, and y'all are going to see the present me. Let's go ahead and get on with the rest of the video. So the first plant I'm showing you guys is my, um, sorry, the name is kind of hard to say. <laughs> Thaumatophyllum sprucianum. I think I said that right, I don't know. These plants used to be classified as a philodendron goldii, but they're actually not philodendron. But I do just have a little baby. I will put a picture up of what a mature one looks like, um, but they're really freaking pretty when they're mature. I mean, she's already pretty, but like, they just like have these leaves that like break off into like these other little leaves and they just look so cool. Like they kind of like look like fans or whatever, I don't know. I did get this at Pistols Nursery in Portland, Oregon. And yeah, she hasn't put out any new leaves for me yet. Uh, when I got her, this leaf was new and there's a little bit of damage on it, but she had that when I got her, but it has hardened off now. It used to be like a lighter green. So now I'm just kind of waiting for her 
to put out a new leaf soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I am giving her the right care. If y'all have any care tips, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, anyways, I'm super excited to have her in my collection. We're gonna talk about some more plants now. <laughs> so the next plant we're gonna be talking about is my philodendron mame or mamei. I don't really know how to say it. I personally think it's mame, but y'all can call it whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so this is a plant that I got off Etsy. So I did just repot this girly in a video that will be coming out next week. Anyways, this is the newest leaf she has put out for me and it is the biggest leaf that she has. And it's just so pretty. These type of philodendron have these like silver markings on them. And they're just, like I said, really freaking pretty. <laughs> this is my first crawling type of philodendron, which means they like crawl against the ground. Other type of philodendron that are crawling are like the philodendron gloriosum. If you want something that's probably like a little more well known to compare it to. I'm happy she's a part of my collection and I'm super excited to see how big she gets because y'all, these plants get really huge or whatever, as long as they're happy at least. I'm excited for her future. And yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next plant. All right, so the next plant we're gonna be talking about is this Christmas cactus. Um, so I kind of got this recently, I wanna say at least like a month ago or so. Um, so I actually got this at Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, this is the second plant I've ever gotten from there. The only other plant I got there was a Pilea peperomioides. And um, I got rid of her because, you know, she wasn't doing it for me anymore. So she's out of my collection now. Basically, you can tell the difference between these and like Easter cactus or whatever, because um, the Christmas cactus have these like spiky ends to it. The Easter cactus is more round on the sides and it doesn't have these spiky edges at all. And she looks a little wonky. It's because my cats actually knocked her down. I was not very happy about that because she did have blooms, but because she fell, they all died. Some pieces broke off of her as well. So I did just plant them back into the pot to try and propagate them. This is a more of like common type of plant, but that's no problem. We love common plants. We gotta show them love or whatever. Sadly, I haven't gotten any blooms off of this and I probably won't until next year, but we do have my Easter cactus to look forward to. So yeah, but anyways, she cute, she cute. And these can get pretty big as well and like trail and shit. Anyways, I need to stop rambling and move on to the next plant. <laughs> All right, so the last plant we're gonna be talking about today is my Epipremnum Cebu Blue. And y'all, look at her, she is beautiful. This is just another plant that was on my wish list for a while, actually. I think I probably even mentioned it in my first wish list video. So I finally got her. Um, I got her at Pistols Nursery as well. Um, I saw her there before and I didn't get her, but I went back with my friend because she was getting a plant. And I saw this there and I was like, I'm gonna get it this time. These grow like really freaking fast. She's already giving me three new leaves. One right here that still needs to unfurl. This one's just now unfurling. And then there's another one right here. You can also um, stake these ones up or you know, have them climb up like a moss pole or something. And if they get mature enough, they can actually create fenestrations, which is really freaking cool. I think I probably will end up putting her on a moss pole or something, um, but I also kind of like how they look trailing as well. So maybe I'll have like two different forms of her. I'm just happy to have her in my collection and I'm excited for our future together or whatever. So that actually ends our video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, remember to leave a like. And if you didn't, you can go ahead and leave a freaking dislike. And make sure to let me know what new plants you guys have gotten down in the comments. I mainly upload plant content here on the channel. So, oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> so if you'd be looking for that, I got you. But yeah, I'm gonna head out now. Bye y'all.